Hey guys, what's happening and welcome to another episode of Anime Metal Viking with me, your host Viking, and today I will be reviewing the brand new EP, Nexus Single, by Japanese trans metal band Blood Stain Child. <sighs> oh boy. So, without further delay, let's do this. So, as most of you guys know by now, I am a huge fan of this band. They are definitely one of the best metal bands to come out of Japan and have been hailed as the In Flames of Japan. Which isn't surprising considering In Flames and just about every Gothenburg mellow death band is listed under their influences with the odd visual K band sprinkled in between. And as all of you know, I am a huge fan of their albums Idolator, Mosaic and Epsilon. However, like with In Flames, this band has changed their sound in recent years to the point that uh, they are barely recognizable. Bloodstained Child were originally a melodic death metal band that evolved into a trance metal band to what I can only describe as a mix between Visual K and Electronical. Basically, this means they've shifted their sound to appeal to a more mainstream audience since uh, Japanese rock and metal is gaining huge popularity in the West, thanks to baby metal. Firstly, this EP contains a total of three tracks, like with the 2014 EP Lost Stardust, and it is the first record to feature their new bassist, Yaki, and their uh, fourth vocalist Psyker. This is basically the first time the band has had a lead male vocalist since the departure of Sadu of the Mosaic and the band's previous vocalist Kiki had to leave the band for personal reasons so it kind of sucks we never got to hear more of her after only one EP. Now there's nothing really much to say about these uh, new tracks other than the fact that they sound like your typical Visual K electronical songs you'd hear as the opening or ending theme for an action anime. But that doesn't mean the songs suck. I actually enjoyed them. However, most long-term fans will likely be disappointed. The positives are that the choruses are pretty good, especially in the uh, in the title track. Psycho's harsh vocals are really good, and if he were uh, to join a pure mellow death band, he would fit right in. However, his clean vocals remind me too much of the vocalist of the Gazette and countless other Visual K bands who have very similar vocal style. That's not to say he sucks, uh, since being able to imitate a popular vocalist or vocal style is actually a great feat in its own right. Ryu, who is the only original member of the band left, is uh, still great on the lead guitar, but his songwriting is a little oversimplified here in comparison to past albums, and this is the first EP to feature uh, breakdowns of the electronic or guitar sort, so and even dubstep sounds. So I don't know what's up with that. Also, Yaki is a pretty good bassist. He is able to keep up with the more seasoned members of the band, but sadly doesn't really get a chance to shine like Ryo did. So, in conclusion, this album will most likely disappoint the majority of long-term fans, but newcomers uh, will definitely enjoy this. So, with all that added together, I would have to rate this EP 6.5 out of 10. While I am slightly disappointed with the new um, sound and direction they are taking, I did still enjoy the songs to a certain degree, mainly thanks to my love for anime music. Similar bands I would recommend if you enjoyed this EP include The Gazette, Three Lights Down Kings, Artema, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, In Flames and Children of Bodom. And that concludes this uh, video for today. If you uh, like this video, be sure to uh, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and DeviantArt. Thanks for watching. I'm Viking, and until next time, guys, have a kick-ass day.